generous. You act like you know me. Woo! Give him that for Isaac. I love you all for that. I can't see none. Y'all, this fucking light's bright as shit. How y'all doing? Thank you all for coming out, supporting all the actors and actresses and comedians. Hold on one sec. Mind if I put this right here? No, it's cool. <laughs> It's not like it's going, mm. <laughs> yeah, um, Sorry about this, you know. <laughs> can't say shit. I'm very irritated. I was driving over here, trying to bring my friends here, trying to do a show for everybody. And on my way, I volunteer to drive. I like driving. Nobody likes when I drive. Everybody teases me as I drive. <laughs> Call me names. You know, I'm in and out of traffic. It's LA traffic. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows what that is. As I'm driving, I'm going in and out of traffic. I look at my passengers, I'm not painted, I'm cool with it, my music's up, I'm in control. They look at me, dude, slow the fuck down. Hear your names, you're gonna kill us. Fucking Asian. I'm like, okay, now they ain't pushing it. <laughs> now I gotta get in there now. <laughs> yeah, my mindset now, I turn down the music, now I'm yelling at them. Like, Yo, stereotyping back there, calling me names, calling me Asian, I'm gonna kill us all. Let me get something straight. Not all Asians are a shitty driver. <laughs> but y'all ain't never seen Tokyo Drift? <laughs> <laughs> then I had to get. <laughs> Then I explained to him that I wasn't Asian, that I was a shitty driver. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is all stereotyping here. You know, it's like, you ain't Asian. You're two foot two, slanted eyes. You run like a duck, hung like a field mouse. <laughs> that about a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I can't blame him, you know what I'm not Asian. I don't know what the fuck I am. I looked on Ancestry.com and see you're mixed. I'm like, really? what am I mixed with? Another Asian. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm Latin. I'm Mexican. That's all I am. Yeah. Oh my god, there is an Asian in the crowd. <laughs> I was going to do a bunch of white jokes. I look at 85% of the people are white. I'm like, let's do some black. Oh, there's some black here now all of a sudden. Fuck. Oh, I need to pay attention to my audience. <laughs> oh, I do Mexicans. There ain't no Mexicans here. There's like one right here. <laughs> <laughs> An atheist Mexican. <laughs> He's fronting. <laughs> no Mexican, I got a cross. <laughs> I believe in baby Jesus. <laughs> what would he do? <laughs> I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> nah, I love it. You know, when you're mixed, it's, uh, it's, it's either a beautiful thing or a funny looking thing. You know, like some people that are mixed are beautiful and exotic, or some are just funny looking. I'm one of those funny looking. I don't know, it's been you all see what you. I know this song's <laughs> called Rattle, and I was in the snow. I went to play in the snow, and I was in the snow, and I'm like, you know what? I haven't been here for 10 years. I'm gonna make a snow angel. I went, yeah, grown ass man, I do a snow angel. Huh? And I get up, and I look, and this shit don't look right. I'm looking at him, my arms are long as shit, my leg, <laughs> my arms are longer than my legs, my center of my body is round as shit. Don't even look like a snow angel. <laughs> look like a bat. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got a wedding to go to. Everybody I know is getting married but me. And I don't care, you know, that nobody's got that shit figured out, but the fact is that it seems like everybody knows what to do with their life but me. And, you know, okay, so you go to a wedding, you have to rent the tux, then you have to sit there and realize everybody's married but you, you have to, are you married yet? No, I'm not married yet, you gotta get some excuse. <laughs> I ain't got no one yet, but when I went to get the tux, the lady was giving me measurements, and here's go, here goes that fucking weird body built that I have. She measured around my chest, and it's, you know, decent size. <laughs> she made around my waist, it's kind of small. And then she goes, put your arms down inside of your body, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta measure the whole top of your upper body, and that's not really flexing right here. She does this all the way around. And then she measured my arms. <laughs> like nine inches. Like, this is not right, I know. Thank you guys for your silence, it helps me concentrate. <laughs> I got options here, you know, I gotta tell the joke there, there, or laying here, but you know what, I'll tell it here, it'll be audio, just picture it, picture me tall, beautiful, good looking, oh, fuck, oh, no, thank you guys for coming, staying out late, <laughs> I already noticed there's a lot of beautiful women in here, I didn't notice it up here, so I can't see nobody, it's so fucking bright, but no, there's beautiful women, we all gotta give it up, women, clap, I'm only saying that because women are about to take over the world. Women got attitude now. Women are strong. They're powerful. They're single. They don't need guys anymore. Yeah, who said? Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> oh, of course, the one that the woman hugging the other woman. <laughs> one reason I say women are about to take over the world is if you listen to music, this is where you know music is going, where women are going. You got Beyonce. You heard that new song, Women Are About the uh, Who Runs the World? The Women, right? Yeah. You heard that song? I don't make me sing it, please. Don't make me dance. Sing it, sing it, sing it. I don't even know how it goes. Women run the world. <laughs> women run the world. How does the dance go? <laughs> I practice all evening for that. You all suck. My point is, that's where music's going. That's where the world's going. Women are about to run the world, gentlemen. And this is why they're going to run the world. Because the women are singing songs about we are running the world. What are we singing? We're singing love songs still. I'll catch a grenade for you. Oh, fuck, I'll catch a grenade. She's the one threw it at you, dummy. <laughs> How do I know women are about to run the world is because they make better decisions than us. That's true. Uh, say, hey, he lost half his shit in a divorce. <laughs> a divorce stands for the good fucking you got for the good fucking you get. I said that totally backwards, but I'm glad you laughed. <laughs> now, women will pick their best friend. You know what a woman's best friend is? It's shiny, rare, expensive, and it lasts a long time. It's called a diamond. What is a guy's best friend? Dog. Love job. <laughs> I like her. Fuck, I didn't even think of that as an option. <laughs> I'll take my best friend to a pound. <laughs> oh, John, you're my best friend. I love it. I love when you're describing yourself over there. You get, you know, cinnamon rolls, saggy tits, people are puking, I'm over there jacking off. <laughs> There's nothing sexier than picking up the titty and sucking on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> point being with women making better decisions than us, they pick the better friends than us. Our friends are free. He licks his own balls and give them away at the pound. He only lives for seven years. A guy talks sexy to a woman, it's called sexual harassment. A woman talks sexy to a guy, it's four dollars and ninety-five cents a minute. <laughs> Thank you guys. There was a blue light somewhere. I don't know where it is, but woo!